hi friends welcome to my channel and this is uh, first video in this series where we are going to set up the VMware disaster recovery for our infrastructure which is uh, we are going to set up in our demo environment so the first thing which you require for the disaster recovery if you are going to use a VMware product for the disaster recovery plan so the first product name is vSphere replication which is required you to set up and the second thing you can set up the SRM so v VMware vSphere replication basically um, uh, appliance you can say the virtual appliance which enables you to replicate your virtual machine from one uh, vCenter infrastructure to another vCenter infrastructure. This might be a same same um, two VCSA to vCenter infrastructure in a same data center, or might be it's, it's in different city or different data center, or totally it's it's going to be a different uh, country as well. So it's going to be VMware. So uh, further in this uh, playlist, we are going to focus in the VMware vSphere replication first, and then I'm going to introduce VMware. Um, uh, basically SRM which is site recovery manager in these uh, playlists so uh, this uh, intro uh, basically this tutorial is going to be a combined of VMware vSphere replication and VMware site recovery manager so let's get started so as you can see the, from the my picture what we require to have a VMware replication set up in the infrastructure the first thing you need um, two sites like your primary site and secondary site where you want to uh, have a replication like you, you need a source uh, source data center and you need a destination data center where you want to replicate your infrastructure or virtual machines so the source and um, uh, destination uh, data center both require a similar kind of configurations like you need one vCenter server which might be a virtual appliance or vCenter server traditional windows vCenter server and second thing you need a virtual appliance for the VMware vSpeak replication so uh, this is for site 1 and same you need uh, for site 2 so basically uh, your VMware replication is going to allow the virtual machine to replicate from one vCenter server to another vCenter server which may be in the same data center or a different data center so we'll discuss more in details so VMware replication in detail so why and where we can use the VMware replication so the first thing where you can use the uh, data protection locally within a single uh, single data center uh, as as I told like uh, this site A and site B in the same data center or might be a, uh, might be in same same organization uh, premises but it's having the uh, uh, building one and building two so you can replicate your vCenter infrastructure all the VMware infrastructure from building one to building two so in case anything goes wrong with the building one you have it you have everything set up and uh, set up to go on the building two so this can be uh, uh, achieved for the uh, 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 same premises or same data center and second the disaster recovery and um, avoidance between the two data centers like you have a uh, two data center in a different different city or a different different country um, let's assume a different city so if a uh, site one um, uh, got some storm or something like uh, Mm, which is uh, going to be a um, disaster so we can migrate our all the infrastructure uh, basically we can bring our all the infrastructure live on a site too which is going to be in, uh, in some different city and disaster recovery uh, and evidence to a uh, service provider cloud so f for example if you have a if you have hosted everything on one of the your service provider cloud and that uh, some there was some uh, issue or the, some uh, some uh, you can say that some failure at the data center uh, uh, provide uh, data center of the service provider and you got everything down so you if you have a second site on premises or second site on this uh, on any other service provider cloud then you can bring the so your services on a second um, uh, secondary service provider cloud so and the f fourth one is going to be data center migration so this is this is one of the uh, best example for the having the VMware replication um, uh, uh, to get used in uh, uh, data center migration so like if if you having data center one and you you are trying to migrate everything from data center one to data centers two so uh, basically you can just uh, shut up the VMware vSphere replication and you can migrate uh, you can replicate all your virtual machine from site one to site two and then bring those uh, virtual machines on a site two 
and you can decommission on the site one so, so uh, it's it's going to be very helpful you can say when you are going to have a some some type of data center migration which is running on a VMware infrastructure so these are some um, some example of where and uh, how and when we can use the um, VMware uh, vSphere replication. So next we have a uh, benefits of the VMware replication, which I want to discuss in uh, also detail. So uh, the first thing is customize the recovery point objective, which is um, R R RPO from five may uh, five minutes to twenty four hours. So basically, this is going to be your replication. Uh, uh, time from uh, for the particular virtual machine from site A to site uh, B. So, so if you see here, the your like uh, for example your VM, this VM is going to migrate from site one to site, uh, uh, replicate from site one to site two. It can um, sync on every five minute. You can set up to sync, uh, replicate these machines every five minute, and maximum it can go to 24 uh, hours. And use the multi point um, uh, basically recovery point to revert uh, as uh, as known the state previous state so you can create a multiple recovery point also and that can be stored in VMware replication so when you're going to recover your virtual machine at the uh, at the replicated site you, you have an option to choose the multiple um, you can say the multiple um, uh, a point which is uh, which is got created by the VMware replication so you have that also and prot you can protect up to two, 2000 virtual machine per vCenter uh, uh, with the VMware replication and you can also use the um, Microsoft volume shadow copy services like if if you are running something like a SQL a Active Directory or any any others um, operate um, like application inside the inside the operate windows operating system like SharePoint or exchange or database then you can use the volume shadow copy services also and you can uh, you can use the linux file uh, queuing also for the for the linux machine and as i uh, discuss in uh, starting so you can use the site recovery manager to have a automate cross site disaster recovery within vmware so if you have implemented the site recovery manager SRM configured correctly and uh, in in case of site a uh, site A goes uh, down you can get everything uh, everything automatically up on site 2 so yeah and if you have a uh, like a uh, VMware vSAN configured then you can protect and recover your uh, virtual machine which is running on VMware vSAN also and same goes with the protected and same goes with the uh, we spare uh, virtual volumes data stores also and this can reduce the replication network bandwidth um, uh, uh, VMware replication have a network bandwidth also uh, which provide the um, basically the uh, you can say the compression of the network traffic so when the data is going to be sync from the source to destination it's going to be very compressed and one more feature I want to discuss you can encrypt your virtual machines also within the within the uh, like transaction so so whenever you you are replicating any machine from source to de destination you can have a re encrypted replication also so now uh, basically let's discuss how the VMware replication works so we have two uh, I, I'm going to discuss two scenario here which is the first one is going to be a pretty simple which is a replicate between two sites so you can see on a two site we have a we have a vCenter server on a both side and we have a VRA which is um, uh, um, VR which is a VMware virtual replica uh, virtual replication appliance so this is set up on both the site and this is our change blocker basically th this change blocker is going to track what the changes has been made since the last uh, uh, replication happened from the source to destination so this is this is kind of mechanism which is in built in uh, VMware is uh, vSphere replication so which can track the last uh, uh, change block uh, f from the last replication so you have a, v a like ESXi on which we have a VR agent VR agent is a basically vSphere replication agent on inst uh, going to be a, um, uh, have, uh, all your ESXi is going to have the, that agent when you set up the VR um, in uh, VR in your infrastructure and then it's going to same it's going to be replicate the, with the help of uh, VR server 
and the VR agent the virtual machine is going to be replicated from source V center to destination V center and the second uh, we have a, a replication uh, to a shared site like uh, our we have a source site uh, like we have a source site in a two data center like one in a um, uh, one in a uh, your uh, primary head head office and second is your secondary head. secondary you can say the secondary office and both you can replicate to the our your the target site which is basically your dr uh, dr location you can say so site a and site b can replicate together to the target site which is your dr site so uh, this is also going to be the same we have a vcenter server here we have a vr application uh, VR appliance and then you have a ESXi a, a ESXi host on those ESXi we have a VR agent which is going to so th this is going to be a same way process but you have a multiple source and you are going to replicate two, two or multiple source site to the uh, single target site which is uh, can you you can say the uh, if you have a multiple head or uh, multiple offices or uh, for your organization you can set up one DR site and you can replicate all your sites all your uh, all your uh, like um, a branch offices uh, virtual machine to your DR site so this is how how the replication vSphere replication works you now over overall uh, from the high, uh, uh, high level so uh, in this uh, whole environment and demo I am going to you uh, use my uh, this demo environment which we have uh, configured for the demo purpose so in a VMware pod site we have a um, domain controller we have a iSCSI server we have a Veeam server for backup so <coughs> and we have a, a VCSA which is running on um, uh, uh, v VCSA appliance basically which is running VCSA 7 and we have two ESXi hosts on a prod side which is ESXi 7 also running and we are going to configure vSphere replication which is going to run vSphere replication 8.3 so this is my prod side at, and on the second side DR side we have uh, we got two ESXi hosts with the one vCenter ser server which is also running a VCS 7 and then we are going to deploy the uh, VRA uh, vSphere replication so in this um, um, uh, video we have discussed all the technical things and why and where we can use the VMware replication and the next video I'm going to set up my um, we uh, basically we are going to deploy the VRA uh, VMware vSphere replication in our both prod and uh, DR site so so stay tuned and thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye